name's Melanie Richmond. I am 29 years old and a thyroid cancer survivor. I started teaching on right away that fall because I didn't want to sit around and be sick anymore. It felt like it would have been counterproductive, so I pulled myself up every morning and taught all day and then commuted home and collapsed on the couch a lot and went to bed by nine every night. And it wasn't a whole a lot of fun. It wasn't much of a life for some, you know, and at some point, a lot of the people who would call to say, hey, let's go out to a party or let's go grab a drink or get coffee, they eventually stopped calling because you, every time you, if you say no, because you're too tired or something's come up. And then my, my BC life, my before cancer life, I was just starting to figure out, like, what did I want to do? What was I drawn to? I had so many passions. But all these different things and uh, I felt like one of the hardest things was one not having energy and also just feeling like I didn't have the same kind of choices that a lot of my peers had because I felt like I needed to be near my parents or near my home uh, near my doctor. After I was diagnosed for those months uh, after that, when I was teaching and when I was living at home and hanging out with my parents and all of their friends, because um, that was about all I could handle, I felt like I was withering in some ways. I would tell my mom that I felt like I was withering, which is the only way I know how to describe it. I felt like this body was just, it was so different and I had to become so fine-tuned as to like, was I tired because my medication was off? Was I hungry? Had I not had enough sleep? Had I overdone it? All of these things, and I didn't know how to trust my body, how to read my body, and so I just felt like I needed more light and more being active, but I just couldn't do it yet. I just couldn't, and 